so I've been on the road for like 40 days, and um, I go home on Monday for the first time in quite a while, and I've had a lot of adventures. I uh, was in a car for like 30 of those days by myself. That's Your head can be go to strange places when that happens. Uh, and my father asked me uh, yesterday, what was the highlight of your trip? And I had a lot of good shows, but uh, let's just take the shows and put them over here. As far as just the everyday life shit, I was in Cincinnati. I had a day off, and uh, I was staying at the Hyatt there, and I had to go to a radio station the next day. And I walked in the lobby, and I've been driving all day, and I was a little, let's just say, out of it. And I saw the entire New Orleans Saints football team was standing in the lobby. And I am a huge Saints fan, like massive. And I sang the national anthem at a Saints game in 2009 when they won the Super Bowl. And so, yeah. And uh, I was very nervous to be around these giant men. And, 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 and I felt strange because I was afraid they would sense how much love that I had for them. <laughs> And so I checked in and I just was kind of freaked out. So I got on the elevator and then right when I was getting the elevator, someone stuck their hand in and, the, and then Drew Brees and Jimmy Graham and like four of these defensive players got on the, got on the elevator. And, and I had my sunglasses on and like I said, I was a little red-eyed, if you know what I mean. And I said, uh, I thought, this is my chance. Am I just going to sit back here and say nothing, or am I going to rock it? So seize, like, seize the opportunity. I was like, are you superstitious? And they, like, it was like, they all, the defensive linemen just looked at me and were like, what is this guy talking about? And I said, are you superstitious? And one of them was like, yeah, I'm superstitious. And I said, well, in 2009, whenever the Saints were 7-0 and and you guys played the Carolina Panthers at the Superdome, you had never been 8-0. You won that game, and I sang the national anthem at it, and y'all won the fucking Super Bowl that So, I haven't seen a lot of Super Bowls y'all have won since. Maybe you ought to get my ass back. They all laughed and they thought it was fun. And then one of them remembered me. And then the next day, like even like rookies were like, Charlie Mars, what's up? And I was like, Yeah, the Saints love me. I love it. I'm happy. So that was my highlight of my trip. That was pretty good, right? Yeah. Uh, on a different note, I was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one day, and I um, was playing piano. This song I wrote on the piano, and it's called What Are You Looking For? And it's off of my last record, Like a Bird, Like a Plane, and it goes like this. Whoa, I really don't know. What is coming over me? But I want to find me a train, a train on the tracks. Buy us two tickets and never, never, never look back. If you're looking for 
Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Maybe we could get lost in the bottle, swimming out on the sea. Lost on the shelf, girl, in the clues of a mystery. If we can't find it in the bottle, swimming out on the sea. We can find it on a shelf in the clues of a mystery. Oh, oh. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Oh, I, I'm a looking for love. If you're looking for love. I'm looking for love, if you're looking for love, have mercy on me. What are you looking for, what are you looking for, what are you looking for? Thank you.